Hey Nemitz, I'm here with Ms. Gallimore and she's going to give you a little bit more information about your volunteer service hours. So, The volunteer hours need to be filled out on this yellow volunteer sheet. You can pick those up here at room 228, okay, right inside the door or there are also some down by the counseling office that you can get. Uh, once the information is filled out, you need to return it directly to me, hand it to me, don't throw it, slide it under the door, don't put it in my mailbox down the stairs, don't give it to another student to hand to me, directly hand it to me, so I can check through your information and be sure everything's recorded correctly. Because you have to make sure that you have the dates and the times filled out and things totaled and signed down here at the bottom. If you need more than one sheet, you can get as many sheets as you need. Uh, remember that those hours are due by March the 6th. That's a little over a month. Monday, March the 6th is the deadline for turning in volunteer service hours for this school year. You might have started with last uh, spring break for, through March the 6th. Those are the hours. Roses are red, violets are blue. Giving carnations shows that you care too. We'll be selling carnations starting in February 13 and 14. Um, that you can go buy them in the morning in room 228 or buy them during all lunches, A, B, C, whatever. Um, start saving up your money because it's the start of February and you know people out there really are going to appreciate flowers so keep that in mind. Carnations, February 13 and 14, room 228 in the morning and during all lunches. They finna be $1 so go get them. Why did you take this class? I took this class so that I could learn more of um, the business field and uh, what other things it has to offer. I wanted to know if business was really the career choice I wanted. It's just a really good opportunity to get college credit. And why do you think other students should take this class? Um, it's a great way of, um, of learning more of what you want to do and like especially if it's a field of business that you can learn um, more aspects of the business world and you'll be better prepared for the future. Well, you get six credits and the class is free. Um, and then you have a lot of resources so you can go to the North Lake campus and use their resources for like their tutors and their libraries and everything. Uh, you get to deal directly with a college professor. Uh, it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty simple. And then um, you get a college experience. So Miss Garrett is the dual class credit course teacher for business management. Some of the benefits that students are getting from it is that it's a free course. You don't have to pay for books and you can work at your own pace. Another thing is that you're getting six credits for college. And biggest thing is it's free. So you don't have to pay anything, but you're getting so many benefits from it. So sign up. Join the class, y'all. That's all I want y'all to do, okay? Just join. Have you ever thought about how long money lasts? One dollar bill can last up to 18 months. Two five dollar bills can last up to two years. Ten dollar bills can last up to three years. Twenty dollar bills can last up to four years. Fifty and a hundred dollar bills can last up to nine years. Coins can last up even up to 30 years. The U.S. Mint estimates that there is 13 billion dollars in, in loose change laying around in the U.S. Vikings, the Pennies for Patients campaign has started and will continue until February 24th. Please contribute money as all of it will be directly, will be directly funded to families with leukemia. And also, if your fourth period wins, you, would, you will have a lunch trip to Olive Garden and you'll also get a tour of it. When you or someone you love hear the words, you have cancer, it is one of the darkest moments in your life. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Light the Night brings light to the darkness of cancer through hope, research, and support for patients and their families. Imagine if every time a patient saw light in a dark moment, they felt the warmth of millions of supporters cheering them to a victory against cancer. Imagine if every time a family member saw a lantern glowing bright, 
they knew there was a researcher on the brink of a cure. Imagine if every time a caregiver saw a light shining in the window, they knew thousands of families were wishing them strength and courage. This is our promise. We will be a light in the darkness. We will be hope where there is despair. We will bring community to a sense of loneliness. We will tirelessly search for a cure for cancer. We will light the night. Good morning, Vikings. Here are your Viking sports for this week. On February 6th, um, freshmen, boys and girls will play here at Nimitz against South Carolina Perry at 6 o'clock. And on February 7th, the JV Varsity boys and girls will be heading to South Carolina Perry at 6. Please stand for the pledge. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible.